Hello. Hello. So, another lunchtime live. Um, now, I'm really, really, really hoping we don't get interrupted by a delivery, which uh, is due by two o'clock, but hopefully we'll be okay. So, today's theme is new fabric that's come in and also a bit of a chat about the sewing bee this week. So if you've got any thoughts, definitely pop them in the question box. Um, I hope you've all watched it by now. I thought it was a really good episode. Uh, so we have had some really beautiful things in this week. Sorry, the postman is just about to drop something through the door. Um, ignore me. Um, yeah, so um, there we go. There we go, confusion with the postman. Anyway, we're good. Um, yeah, so lots of lovely new things in this week, including this little pile of prettiness here. Uh, so I'll start off with some linens that have come in. So this one, oh, it's so pretty. So it's a beautiful sort of china blue color. Uh, and this is the blue ditzy linen viscose. So they're very, very soft, lovely handle nice drapey movement they'd be really easy to work with they're not going to be slippery like um a lot of other rayons uh you could make um like dresses skirts tops also trousers so some nice linen trousers for the summer would be nice so maybe like cropped um uh, true bias uh, not hudson's is all i can think of um the landers that's who i'm thinking of yeah the lander pants and they'd be really nice in this, or some dungarees. So that's the blue ditzy. Um, and then this one, which is kind of similar to, um, in print to one we had last year, another linen viscose. It was uh, more of a navy print. This one is again, a really beautiful sort of china blue, and it's got lilac and white and green tropical leaves on it I really love that and I'm very very tempted to grab some of this for myself and make another pair of heyday dungarees because I wear them all the time so yeah that's another good one and again all the patterns I made I mentioned for the previous fabric would be perfect for this one this one's been really popular in the shop today already that one out the way and that one is called blue tropics in viscose and another and um, we've added an, a new color for our enzyme wash linens so this is slate gray really lovely color and um, we couldn't get any more of the denim color in at the moment we're hoping we can get it back in because that one's been really popular but i thought this was quite a good alternative and what i actually thought was um the paper bag shorts on the sewing bee this week um great pattern and um, i actually thought the opal pattern by megan nielsen i thought that would work really well because that's got a shorts option with the paper bag waist on it and i thought that um this linen would work really nicely for that even the previous two would work as well for that and they'd look really nice in a linen um lovely for the summer it's already nice weather so already cheering everybody up Right, let's move on to these buttes. So, I've already, well, in fact, I'm, it, I'm halfway through my next sage brush top. Um, I've cut some of this cotton lawn out of, um, um, from the, um, I've cut the sage brush out of this cotton lawn. I'll learn to speak in a minute, it's fine. <laughs> and I've done a little contrast cream ruffle as well. Uh, it's really soft. It's a really delicious cotton lawn, actually. It feels very reminiscent of the Rifle Paper Company rayons. So that's why I chose it. I thought that would work really nicely. So beautiful kind of mauvey lilac tones with very pretty pastel -y flowers on, on it. That's the scale of it on me. And all of these can be found on the new in section of the website as well. And I will uh, pop a link. I'll pop, I'll um, post this back in stories and I'll pop a link to that as well. Oh my God, this one. I can't tell you how soft this is. It's ridiculous. It is a rayon. 
and it's sort of like this beautiful watercolour, it's called watercolour rail, and um, it's beautiful watercolour flowers on it, so dreamy. So that would be lovely for a lovely summer dress, pyjamas, oh my god, literally the most luxurious pair of pyjamas you'd ever own, I think. Or a nice top, the Ogden cami would work well. I'm going to say it's pretty opaque, I can't see my hand through that. So I don't think you'd need to line it, but yeah, beautiful for a summer dress. And I'll talk dresses in a little while. Now, I don't even think you are ready for this one. This one just came in yesterday and it is stunning, absolutely stunning. It's a really, really large scale print. So you can see there it's huge. Um, it's a black background with white polka dots and then these giant florals on it. So I think it would make a really standout maxi dress. Maybe like the Wilder gown. I'm wearing my Wilder again today. I rediscovered it and I love it because it's just really floaty, perfect for this kind of in-between weather. And this fabric, because um, I posted a reel of me wearing this last week, um, and a few people were like, oh, have you got that fabric? It's coming back. I managed to find it, I tracked it down. So I'm hoping it's gonna arrive today. If not, it will be here early next week. Yes, so this is a beaut. Uh, and this is called the Jessie Rayon. I've just added it to the website, not five minutes ago. But yes, love it. And this one was a really popular one. It literally flew out as soon as I put it on the website yesterday, uh, last week, sorry. Um, just trying to work out which way it goes because so it's this beautiful, really vibrant green color. And then can you see, it's got horses on it. It's like sketched horses. It's called Wild Horses Rayon. It's a really, really popular. Um, so if you want some of this, um, get onto the website and snap it up. It's only seven pounds a meter as well. So really reason reasonably priced. Again, would make a lovely Wilder gown or something just with lots of movement that you can show off that beautiful print. The, these cotton linens have come back in as well. These were really popular. So this is the blue colorway. And then we've got the Cerise as well. I'll show you. Uh, there you go, there's the Cerise. These lovely leopard print cotton rayons. And again, these ones, these are the double gauzes. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see. There you go, there's the sparkles. So um, we've restocked all of the colorways of the double gauzes with the little sparkles. That's the mint colour. And we managed to get a bit more of this giant gingham cotton as well. So perfect, and I've got some hearts for this one, and um, perfect for like um, a nice sort of skirt, like a gathered waist skirt would be lovely, or a pretty dress. So very summery very chic as well. So what did we all think of the sewing bee this week? I thought um, the dresses were really ambitious and um, I loved the Fiona dress that um, one of the contestants made in the yellow stunning and I don't know how she managed to get it made and fitted so well in that time but yeah really loved that one. That was probably my favourite. Um, so I've actually picked out a few patterns, which really enjoyed it. So many lovely dresses, yes, yes, yes. Um, so it was like button down summer dresses. So we've got some patterns uh, that would work really well. So the Tilly and the Button Seren dress, this one is going out of print. So it's gonna be available on PDF, but the actual printed pattern is, um, they're stocking it soon so if you want them again grab them quickly so you've got the version with the ruffle or there's another version with a tie i posted um, a stupid reel of me 
um, earlier in the week where I was wearing my Seren, I actually made it as separates just because I thought I might get a bit more wear out of it because I really wanted like a button down skirt. So that's what I did with that one. Now, here's another nice one. This is a new one into us. It's Megan Nielsen Matilda. I have plans for this one. I'm just waiting for a particular fabric to come in and then I'm going to be making a maxi version of this one. I think it's such a beautiful pattern. So it's kind of sleeveless, but like cap sleeves. And then buttons down it, giant pockets. So that is another good option for the summer. Deer and Doe, I've got a few. We're waiting on our Deer and Doe delivery today, which has got the new pattern in. I can't remember what it's called. Um, opal something. I can't remember, but it's really beautiful. So it's got like a button down, uh, buttons down the front, um, lovely little poofy sleeves. So that's on its way to us now. Uh, so we've also got the blue A dress, which again would be really nice for summer. Buttons down it with lovely princess seams. Uh, and the Maya Sotis, again, a great summery pattern. So nice little frilled version. You can have the plain sleeves or the frill sleeves. And I'm really surprised no one made this on the bee. The Nina Lee Q dress. This is the perfect summery dress. So you've got a couple of different versions. You've got the one with little gathers and little sleeves on it, or you've got the cold shoulder version, or you can do one without the, uh, just with the straps and without the, um, little flutter bit but yeah this one's beautiful I've, no, I've not made it yet um I should probably make this for a summer dress this year uh, but yeah all of the kind of rayons and the more drapey fabrics would work beautifully for that cotton lawns also um but yeah so uh, lots of beautiful dresses on the bee this week I thought and then they're going to be doing men's sewing next week um so has anyone else got any thoughts on the bee I mean, I'm assuming you're all watching it. It's very exciting. And we've got um, a weekly bingo card that we're doing um, because the same things do seem to crop up each week. Uh, you do tend to get a seam ripper out and that sort of thing. So just a bit of a fun thing to uh, to play along with as we're watching. Um, and of course, turn it into a drinking game if that's your thing as well. Um, but yes, um, I'm also gonna be taking um, suggestions uh, in the coming weeks for some more things to add to the um, sewing bee bingo card. So you'll have to let me know. I'll put a little question box up and you can um, add your suggestion to that as well. We can keep them on the list. Um, but yes, I think I will wrap up shortly because as I said, I'm expecting some deliveries and I don't want them to interrupt. Uh, but I hope you're all well. We've got lots more fabrics arriving next week, which I'm excited about. And it's so lovely to have the shop open again. Um, really nice to see some familiar faces. Well, like this much of the familiar faces. Uh, but yeah, it's been really, really lovely. Exhausting, but lovely. Uh, but yes, so uh, we'll open today till 4.30. Open tomorrow um, until 2. And then back to it again on Tuesday. Oh, and while I'm here, I will mention that we've got our remnant sale. Oh, thank you, Shaz. Um, we've got our remnant sale, uh, which is going on until midnight on Monday. So that's 10% off all remnants on the website. Uh, there is uh, a code which you need to use on the checkout, which is remnants10. Um, so lots of people are already taking advantage of that. I'm trying to take, take them off the website um, as soon as they're kind of being sold so that you're not just looking at a bunch of sold out fabrics. Anyway, lovely to talk to you all. I hope you're well. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.